Greetings, YouTube. This is Fragments of Memory, a.k.a. The Armchair Philosopher. I often hear conservative commentators and pundits on radio and television discuss America's Christian heritage. This sentiment is echoed by Christian evangelists and gospel preachers. America was founded on Christian principles is shouted from pulpits made of oak and television pixels. Now, in this video, I ask the question, were our founding fathers all Christians? We do know for a fact that Thomas Paine, who wrote such works as The Rights of Man and Common Sense, he was a deist. He even proclaimed in his, in his work Age of Reason that he not only he believed in no church, he believed his mind was his church, and that he believed in God and no more, and that he hoped that he would have good, a good life and a good afterlife. Benjamin Franklin was also a deist, though he admired the examples of Jesus. He himself, did, he himself did not align with any particular denomination. Thomas Jefferson was a Unitarian who did not believe that everything that the Bible said. Now, although many founding fathers believed in a higher power, not all of them were Christian. And this is something, as I say earlier, or as I have mentioned earlier, is being perpetuated by the right wing of the political spectrum. And there does seem to be this need by many to join conservatism, American exceptionalism, and Christianity together in today's climate. Now I would I would I would like to point out at this point at this juncture that Christianity came long before the existence of the United States of America. And many of its principles would conflict with what America actually puts into practice today. So yes, there are many wonderful things in the Constitution. And some of them have been based on Christianity. But many people in our nation do not act like they are Christian. And I do get this feeling in America that God has been politicized. He's become a tool for one party to gain leverage over another party. Uh, this also speaks to the ways in which politics... Our politicians push our buttons by playing to our religiosity and our love for the creator. So that's something that I noticed. I've noticed if you listen to some Christian radio stations, if you just look at television, and especially for of right wing television or just Christian broadcasts, America was founded on Christian principles. And we live in a country where it is joked that if you want to go see the girls at the club on Saturday night, you can you can go to the club on Saturday night and see the same women at the club at the church on Sunday morning wearing the same club clothes. That's something that has been spoken of, though derisively and though in a joking manner, this is something that has been spoken of. Um, you often hear in America, if we're a Christian nation, we do have all these sex scandals that preachers are getting caught up in. One preacher's caught up with a prostitute, or one preacher's engaging in homosexual activity. <laughs> so we then say, but we're a Christian nation. Ministers are also caught in scandals like taking the church's collection plate money and using it to drive a Cadillac while the people that attend the church, the parishioners, the congregation, they're living hand to mouth. They're either living in a bad apartment or they're living where they got to take the bus to church. We had the Passa, he driving a new Rolls Royce or a Cadillac or an Aston Martin. So what's that all about? So we say we're a Christian nation. Um, we, 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 we create media that gossips and tears down people who don't agree with us. Well, gossip is supposed to be a sin in the Bible. In fact, when you go to many churches in America, what do you find is that the same person that's saying praise the Lord to you is also the same person gossiping about your life. But yet we say we're a Christian nation. We're a nation that devotes only one day to the creator and then all those six days are ours. And this isn't me picking on, I'm not attempting to denigrate the Christian faith. I'm merely just pointing out that if you say you have a certain set of ideals, you should do your best to practice those ideals. Yes, many will respond with, 
we're not perfect people. Of course we're not perfect. But falling short is one thing. Not even trying is a whole nother game altogether. So when I when I hear people say we're a Christian nation, we're a Christian, we're a Christian, I want to laugh. Because not, not everyone who, who's even lays claim on the name Christian can truly be a Christian. The Bible even says that. In fact, I believe, what is it? I'm not sure. I believe that there is a verse in the Bible that talks about this. And I'll just, I'll just read it for the sake of reading it because just to show you that where I got this from. Um, let's see. In the book of Matthew. Matthew, and of course the words are in red, so, you know, Jesus must have said it. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 21, and it says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied, or prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So there's some that are making the claim to Christianity, not really being Christian, quote unquote. And even in, according to the Bible, Jesus, peace be upon him, is even talking about this. And I just wanted to throw that out there because... There are many people that lay claim to, we're a Christian nation, we're a Christian nation. And even if, and some might even use my, use this to say, well, not everyone who say they're a Christian really is a Christian. True. But what about, what about those who are truly, truly being about their father's business, quote unquote? Aren't y'all supposed to be encouraging those that aren't doing the right thing to do the right thing? Well, that's just that's just something that was on my mind and I wanted to just throw that out there because there are way too many folks screaming we're a Christian nation let's get back to our Christian principles but let me remind you that this very same nation that wrote all men are created equal had slaves while they were saying it <laughs> even when blacks fought in the Revolutionary War fought in all the wars to help America get their freedoms the blacks were related to regulated to a second class citizenship. So I do find it disingenuous when these conservative Christian right wing folks start talking about that stuff. Well, that's just my two cents on the matter. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care.